Hi everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today, I'll be reviewing the Disney Channel original movie, True Confessions, which made its debut in 2002 on Disney Channel, and now can be seen on Disney+. Plus. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video is inspired by True Confessions and one of the characters of the movie. This film is about a teenager named Eddie and his twin sister True, played by Shia LaBeouf and Clara Bryant. Eddie was born with a mental disability that can be viewed as autism, but though it's not stated as some of the characteristics he displays in the movie shows them. True goal is to become a TV show producer. She one day enters a contest by the local TV station in her area and decides to make a video about her brother Eddie. As for Eddie, he gets into trouble in the movie from taking pictures of True and her friends Denise and Jake, played by actress Nicole Dicker and Power Rangers alumni Kevin Dunhenny to even running over True's fingers by accident with rollerblades while skating in the house. True and Eddie's parents, Jenny and her husband, Bob, played by both Mayor Winningham and William Francis McGuire, Bob is always stressed out due to him being a surgeon, which sometimes he takes it out on Eddie, like when he caught him playing with his surgical tools that True and Eddie's grandfather, his father, gave to him to even get annoyed by Eddie's antics, especially when trying to schedule appointments with patients. Eddie sometimes gets upset and cries whenever he gets his father upset, like with the incident where he was playing with his grandfather's surgical tools that he gave to his father. As I mentioned, he was operating on a watermelon and then he got angry at him and then he threw the watermelon on the floor and it got smashed into pieces. Eddie also likes to do sports with his sister, like play soccer, and he also does Special Olympics by himself. Then later, True has a crush on a guy who, who later ends up bullying Eddie named Billy Meyer, played by Yanni Gelman, who spits in a hat with his friends and then gets pushed into the water off of a bridge by True for what he did to her brother. Then True, Eddie, Denise, and Jake are at the library where Eddie wanders off, gets lost, and has a meltdown. Jake tells the librarian to chill as Eddie doesn't know better. They take him home. Then True finds out she wins the contest that she worked hard to win after editing and filming it. It airs on TV and everyone, including True's father, not to mention everyone else at her school, later praise it and Bob also learns to be less stressed about Eddie. True went on to a special needs forum early in the film, meeting someone named Dee Dee, which later turned out to be her mother giving her advice unexpectedly throughout the film. My thoughts on this film is that it's great. I like how Shia LaBeouf portrayed Eddie and the scene where he was in the library had me crying as it was sad and very emotional. I've had my own moments like that. I can also relate to Eddie with the meltdowns and being bullied. I only laughed at Billy Meyer when he got pushed into the water off the bridge because he had it coming to him while it also made me angry and sad because of what happened to Eddie. I also like how the Special Olympics are mentioned in the movie and at the end of the film, they put the number to the Special Olympics at the end for those who might be interested in participating in the Special Olympics. I highly recommend watching this movie. I will post the link to watch this on Disney Plus as well. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings. Practice social distancing. Wash your hands. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Most importantly, get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together. We are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.